Hi, this is Bella Mehta from New York reporting for ACR 2020. The abstract number that I want to talk about is 1633 and it's titled a randomized double blind placebo control trial for anakinra in pediatric and adult patients with Stills disease. The trial is named Anna Stills, Anna for anakinra and Stills for Stills disease. As we all know, anakinra is a IL-1 receptor antagonist and IL-1 is a predominant cytokine that they think about as a pathology in Stills disease. This was a 12-week study in patients with active and newly diagnosed Stills disease. 12 patients were enrolled in this randomized study where six patients were assigned to the placebo arm, six patients were assigned to the treatment arm. In the treatment arm, two patients were given the two milligram per kg per, do, per day subcute dose of anakinra, whereas four patients were given the four milligram per kg per day subcute dose of anakinra. All patients met the either the ILAR criteria if they were less than 16 or the Yamaguchi criteria if they were greater than 16 years of age. The primary objective was to reach ACR 30 and the absence of fever at two weeks, at the two weeks time point. So five patients received the placebo. One patient dropped out because the patient was actually diagnosed with lymphoma and did not have the original diagnosis of Stills disease. Six patients continued on the drug over the 12 week point, time point. Of the six patients, all six of them achieved the ACR30 criteria at week two. Not only that, all of the six patients achieved the ACR50 as well as 70 criteria at week two. Five of the six patients also re reached the ACR90 criteria at week two. And all of these effects were sustained over the 12 week period at the 12 week time point, five patients were at the ACR 90 mark and one patient was at the ACR 70 mark. Of note, all patients in the placebo arm did not have any response and there was a high rate of dropout towards the end of the study in the placebo arm. Again, it's very difficult to enroll patients with still disease in a trial like this and it's, it's possible that it's, most patients do not want to get into a randomized study with a placebo arm, uh, as you can see. Um, still, this is a big study with 12 patients. Um, as the authors also note that it was difficult to recruit and they had to stop the study early. Uh, but overall, an important study showing the utility of IL-1 blockade in Stills disease. Um, a lot of uh, exciting posters and presentations in this area. Uh, for more, tune into Room Now or follow me on Twitter at Bella underscore Meta. And thank you for listening.